Hey, what's up, everybody? New release video. Look at this, the fat packs. Let's see what these are all about. Everybody's been telling me in the comment section that these are where it's at this year. So I'm kind of excited to check them out. Um, I have not watched any rips on these, but if the odds have changed a little bit on these and they're better now, um, that'll be fun. Typically, I am not a fat pack guy. I'm not really interested in ripping a ton of them. I did do a lot of them for series one and it was kind of a big time failure. Uh, so I skipped that altogether for Series 2. I, I think total I bought 20 for Series 2 just for a couple of battles, and that was it. But today, we're going to do like a new release video, because since it's my first look at these, we're going to do 10 of these today, so that should give us a good sample size. Also, head over to WNYCards.com. I bought this lot off of somebody, and I'm deciding I'm just going to sell the whole thing as one lot. It's got some incredible cards in it. Ronald Acuna, Blue Stars Parallel. That's a beautiful card. Jazz Chisholm to 299, Black Stars Mystical Parallel. Beautiful numbered jazz. Heavy Lumber, Cody Bellinger. That's an awesome card. Colt Keith, rookie card to 799, 532 of 799. That will be a part of it. Shohei Otani and Yamamoto, Color Match Blue to 999. There's been some very interesting prices on this card. Obviously, all Shohei cards are red hot. Look at this one. Ellie De La Cruz, Let Him Cook, Black Parallel, 77 of 299, rookie. Awesome Let Him Cook Parallel. And the last one, Mr. Paul Skeens. Uh, blue, Royal Blue, super tough pull this year. Paul Skeens, base Royal Blue rookie. Obviously, this lot's going to be a little pricey. It'll be up there. Um, all together, all of these cards together in one lot. I'll put it for a price that I figured out and also accept offers on it if, uh, if it doesn't sell for the price that I put on it. But anyways, go to WNYCards.com for that. For now, let's get into this. Let's see what we got. I'm excited to see what these fat packs are all about. Are we going to start with a base pack? Do they have base packs in here with no inserts? Uh-oh. I'm not going to like that if that's what we're going to start. Let's see. Don't judge a book by its cover. There's the Paul Skeens combo card. Rowdy Telez. There's Yamamoto. Alex Jacob. All right. So we only got one insert in this one. But if you're going to get one insert, an LE All-Star is not a bad insert to get out of a fat pack. Not bad. And then the stars will be our Mead and Kowser. So Ellie All-Star. You know, these run you about between six and eight dollars a pack, usually these fat packs. So if you land on some decent inserts or numbered cards, you, you can, you know, you can kind of make your money back, and then you get a lot of the base cards you're looking for to build your set as well. But we'll see. Shohei and Trout on the combo card. I just never have a lot of faith in fat packs. Heston Kirst had rookie debut. The best pull I've ever had out of any fat pack was actually 2023, maybe, Series 2. Or it was either 2023 or 2022, Series 2. I pulled, there's a Cole Keith rookie. I pulled a Zach Wheeler and Aaron Nola dual auto number to 10. But I haven't pulled anything close to that uh, since that day. Fat packs have been very rough with me. We got the same coalition here coming down at the end. There's Gavin Williams, and we got another base pack with just an all-star, and this time it's Jaron Duran, Jackson Holiday, and Austin Wells. So we got beat up on that fat pack. That one was not a good one. All right. All right, we're going to have some fun stuff in here. It looks like we got a gold. There's Junior Caminero. Rafaela. Colt Keith again. Shohei again, same coalition. Not for the whole pack, but just right there, it was the same. All right, we got a gold, we got an 89, we got some different stuff in here. The gold is going to be a rookie, Tyler Black, for the Brewers. That's going to be to 2024, 879 of 2024. It'll be interesting to see how many numbered cards we can pull. The 89 is going to be Spencer Torkelson. 
And we did get an all-star as well, Louis Arise. Stars will be our Nolan Shanuel and Adley Rutschman. Next pack. You guys can let me know in the comments if you've opened the fat packs, uh, how you've done. We got another gold. I'm curious to see. I know some people have already told me they've done pretty well. Some people told me it was kind of meh. They weren't like super impressed. I feel like that's just the nature of ripping in general. A lot of times you just end up like, you know, unless you pull some serious heat, it's just kind of a meh rip. All right. Coming up on the good stuff here. A gold. All right. Well, I mean, that's a heck of a gold card. A combo gold with Shohei and Trout. I mean, I, I've said it a million times. I've been hoping to pull some of the Shohei parallels, and you can't really beat that. 423 of 2024, veteran combos, Shohei and Trout. I bet you that's a pretty sought-after card, if I had to guess. Eloy Jimenez, 89, and All-Star. Card there, too, non-rookie. Uh, Mr. Garrett from the White Sox, Jung Hoo Lee, and Torkelson. Stars will be. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, five left. So we're halfway through. Not bad, I would say right now. Not bad at all. That Shohei and Trout really kind of saved this thing. We're going to have something in here. Looks like a blue. Maybe a royal blue. You know what I haven't pulled yet that, oh man, I know they're probably amazing looking, is the... Blue version of the Topps Black Gold. That's Every year, that's one of my favorite pulls, and I only get two or three a year, but I've had great luck with those. Colt Keith, like the Bobby Witt's rookie year, I pulled his blue color match. It was amazing. All right, the blue is... Oh, I saw the Pirates. <laughs> Martin Perez for the Pirates. Teasing me, making me think he's Paul Skeens. And there's a nice one, Gunner, all-star game. Stars and LBs are Jackson Holiday and Colton Kowser. <clears throat> Next up. All right. Something in there. Uh, probably just an Autumn Tales. Nothing too crazy, it doesn't look like. There's that Shohei and Trout again. Mauricio. I'm getting very similar Cursed Dad. A lot of doubles in these 10 packs. <clears throat> Gavin Williams. Jordan Lawler. We have something turned around. Is that numbered? It is to so $4.99. So that's going to be a what? Oh, a green. So it'll be a green foil to $4.99. Hunter Harvey. So Hunter Harvey Green, relief pitcher for the Nationals. I know in the beginning of the season he was competing for the closer job with Kyle Finnegan, but Finnegan, I'm pretty sure he just kind of ran away with that one. Finnegan had a hot start to his season. So Hunter Harvey to 499. Here's a Yogi, uh, Autumn Tales. We're finally getting enough of these Autumn Tales cards. Uh, to think about doing a bulk upload of that. So look out for that on the website soon. Same with All-Star, 89s, all of them. Um, Matt Chapman and Austin Wells. And we're also, we're gonna be, we've already started working on sorting a base listing. For those of you that are looking to complete your set. So that should be up there soon as well. It just takes, you know, it takes a decent amount of time to do all that. All right, what is that? That must be a black gold. Turned around, I think. If that's the case, if it's turned around, it could be a blue. Let's just take a peek just to see. It is not. So the black golds are turned around in fat packs. So that's good to know not to get too excited. How many we got here? We have three numbered cards, which is actually more than I thought we would have at this point. So it's not too bad. There's Rafaela Hernandez. Shohei again. All right, coming up on something turned around. So another numbered card. Okay. That's not bad. It's going to be the 799, which is a purple. All right, so a rookie. Jonathan Classe. I'm not sure if it's pronounced like Emmanuel Classe or if it's Klaas, but 
Purple rookie. That's that's not a bad pull at all. I mean, you'll take that all day long. Really good shape, too. So our fourth numbered card, and then the black gold is a decent pull as well. Mike Trout. Like I said, just a base. The blue, you would see blue all up in here. They look super sharp. So a nice Trout. We'll throw him up there. We only got a couple packs left. And then we got Churio and Shanuel. All right, two packs left. Just a quick video today. If I can get my hands on more fat packs, I may. Um, we'll see how these last two packs are. Because it'd be fun to do some battles with these. We got a Chrome in here. I have so many hanger boxes now and blasters still. Even after the full case profit challenge, we'll still have a lot of those left. So plenty enough to make content. So I don't need to buy more of these fat packs, but we'll see. Cole Keith, base rookie. All right, the chrome is going to be Colton Kowser. It's not a bad one for a chrome. 89, Wilson Contreras. All-star is going to be Mason Miller. And then we got stars will be Adley Rutschman, Spencer Torkelson. All right, last pack. Let's see what we can get. I lost track again. One, two, three, four numbered cards. So this is our 10th pack. So if we can get one here, that would mean every other pack is going to... Well, okay. That's not like definitely what it means. Every other pack is going to be a numbered card, but I don't think we have one in here. I think we're going to strike out on that. So it would be four out of 10, which is, I mean, that would be okay, I suppose. Paul Skeen's rookie debut. Throw that up there. Jackson Merrill, base rookie. A little bit different coalition in that pack. Jordan Lawler. There's Nuelve Marte. And then the Chrome is going to be Austin Wells. And then we got to let him cook behind it. And that is J-Rod. Nice one there. J-Rod, let him cook. A little, uh, yeah, a little ding up there. Last two, Gavin Williams and Matt Chapman, Stars will be. So what do I think about these? Well, that wasn't terrible. It's hard. This is such a small, 10, 10 packs is a really small sample size. Right now, the blasters have been so good. They're, they're just blowing me away over everything else because of our full case profit challenge. But this wasn't terrible. I mean, that Ellie card, like if you're looking to get value back, the Ellie cards would go for a decent amount. The Class A probably would as well. The Mike Trout, a couple bucks here and there. And then that Shohei card really saved it. But we, you know, if we did a profit challenge here, we're probably losing, unless the Shohei and Trout's worth way more than I think it is. Uh, we probably got beat up a little bit here. But not a terrible format, I will say. Um, series 1 was way worse than this uh, in terms of fat packs. But uh, again, this lot is going to be available. So... Be on the lookout. Go to the website if you're interested in purchasing this entire lot. It will be available for one price. I'll try to price it as fairly as I possibly can. I got to look these up and see what they go for uh, to get it moved right away. But if I don't, there's always that send me an offer button as well. Tomorrow, we are back to the full case profit challenge. Uh, I can't wait to get into, what is it, part four? It seems like the full case profit challenge should be ending <laughs> because we've done so well. But I can't wait to get back to that tomorrow. And if you want to follow along with that and all the rest of the videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.